Hello from Florence, aka Firenze in Italiano. I came here to enjoy a little bit of Tuscany's most beautiful and romantic city. Some would say it's actually Italy's most beautiful and romantic city filled with history, architecture, beautiful people, tourists who are now starting to come back. Yeah. Here you will find people reading books on bridges and students don't have an actual agenda. I'll just stroll and see where the road takes me. The thing you gotta realize guys is that if I want a photo, I'll take your photo. Of course. There we go. Okay. Wait, so you can see everything. There we go. Ecco. <laughs> um, yeah. This is Florence. What you see over there, guys, is the historic, famous Ponte Vecchio. And it's hard to believe, but people actually live in those apartments. Could you live on a house, on a bridge that just might collapse any day? Seems pretty adventurous to me. I'm not used to see so many tourists. Gotta be frank, because... You gotta realize Italy's been closed for two years and now it's only starting to recover and get out of Covid. And tragically, this season it won't be like any other season because Italy's tourism is heavily, heavily based on Russians, Ukrainians who obviously aren't gonna come. Nobody knows what, what this tourism season will bring. One, one thing's for sure, Italy is, is, is starving. It's striving for, for tourists to revive its, its economy, which lies in shreds. Look at those beautiful little alleys. Wow, so pretty. Could you imagine living here? Here we have an antique shop. Look at this antique shop, which sells art, statues, photos. I can spot some swords over there. This old etching of Florence from the year 1850. It's a piece of history right there. Some old maps. Wow. Some old clocks. Figurines. I think this is a World War II figurines. Yeah. When you say what is the most beautiful city in Tuscany, people would either say Siena or Florence. The most dangerous thing here, of course, is to fall into some tourist traps. The city is filled with them. So you gotta be very careful. I actually read about a deli, a deli shop, which offers a pretty unique set of goods that you can buy foods and drinks, so I was thinking we'll go and check it out. To get to this deli shop, we're gonna cross back the river, passing through the famous Ponte Vecchio, back to the other side of Florence. Oh wow, guys, look at this. Torre di Belfredelli. It's an ancient tower. Look at it. Wow. And I think people actually live here. That's insane. Comune di Firenze. Oh, so it's a city. I don't know. People live here. 
Kumar lives here and Ramaganti li family lives here and the Fredelli family lives here wow people actually live here look at this giant plant wow this must be I don't know decades old if not more hasn't reached to the top but boy is it immense when they talk about green buildings they must be talking about that huh wow I can spot a porch let's go check it out Salve. Salve. Posso dare un'occhiata? Sì, sì. Grazie. Wow. You can chill next to the riverbank. Enjoy this beautiful, beautiful view of the river. Wow. Here's Ponte Vecchio. And here is Ponte Santa Trinita. And here the hotel even offers you some bike you can take and just go by bike and stroll the city. So if you can afford it, it looks like a pretty decent hotel. In Italy, you, you should be careful from those garages in the middle of the street. If you don't pay your attention, you might get hit um, by a car. All those luxurious clothing shops and one guy, one smart guy who is jogging and I gotta tell you, jogging is smart here in Italy because you're eating so much pasta, you basically gotta do something to take all those calories off. So that's the smart guy over there. You can see all the people there. Yes, that's Ponte Vecchio, we're gonna go past it. Of course, little cafes, bars, all over the place. Shops, shops, shops. And here is the Ponte Vecchio. Now, you gotta watch for pickpockets here. Uh, unfortunately, it's still a thing here in Italy, especially in the big cities. So hopefully, I'll have my wallet by the time I reach the other side of the river. Okay, so on the beginning of the ponte, of the bridge, you have shops, mostly tourist traps, shops and shops and shops, to try and seduce those wealthy tourists. And apparently it's working sometimes, as you can see. Rolex shop. If you're out for a Rolex, this is the place to get it. And here, a beautiful point for Wow. Fortunately, a lot I don't know what you think about that, but people just have to live something written, huh? Here, the river. Today, there is a great view because the sky is super clear. You can see all the way to the mountains and beyond. Well, it is a very romantic city, so if you come here with your loved one, you might want to buy her or him something. It seems to be only jewelry shops here. Okay, we're off the bridge. This bank. Monte dei Paschi di Siena, Banca. It's one of the oldest, if not the oldest bank in the world. From the year 1472. You can see it all over Italy. And if you don't know, banks were actually invented in Italy. And the word bank comes from the Italian word banca, which means a bench, because people would sit on a bench and then a bank came to be. What happened in between, I do not know. 
By the way, my wallet is still here, still in my pocket. So, for the time being at least, let's see. If you're here in, in Firenze, in Florence, and you want to eat, you want to drink, stay out of this area, stay out of the area close to the Vecchio Ponte. Try to go the furthest you can, as you absolutely have to. Because here is where all this, the tourist traps lay. Don't eat here. Don't drink here. Try to go further away from the center. And here is one of the main squares. Here in this very building lies one of the most famous statues in the world. The Statue of David. In, outside there's a replica. The real deal is inside. As you can see, it's crowded. But just to think, here lies the most amazing statue in the world. is mind-blowing. But let's go take a look at the replica, because also the, the replica is also pretty good. Here, by the way, you have another impressive hole with amazing statues. But yeah, here is where everybody goes to look of this replica. Even the replica is beautiful. Statue of David, Michelangelo. And this is only the replica, of course. But you can see even in the replica the veins and the details. Some say it's probably the most famous sculpture in the world. Probably the most important statue a man has ever made. And the peak of Renaissance by Michelangelo. Not the Ninja Turtle, the actual artist. Okay, but we're not here for art, not this time. We are here for delicatessen. Passing through the Chanel shop, which actually has a bodyguard at the entrance. We're not going into the Chanel shop today, no. Not today. Passing through the tourist traps restaurants I mean I guess some of them have good food but the prices you pay high premium to sit and look at the view of this square if you look up in the streets of Italy you might notice that some streets have a protector saint watching over the citizens every borgo and every city in Italy has its own protective saint you can always spot them above the buildings overlooking us all. Now it got a little bit more quiet as we go further and further away. Look at this piece of art over here. It's, it's, it's faded, but it's pretty ancient. There's also a sign that says that this fresco called San Philip Neri from the late 17th century. Ah, so this building was the first institute for poor kids in the city of Florence. And so the fresco de depicts the saint that protects the poor kids. Wow, so much history between the walls of this city. The retro Bottega, it's a retro bar. Look at this little, beautiful little square. So cute. I must say the weather is amazing. If you want to go to Italy in the best time, it's either April or May. Those are the best months. Now it's late April. It's not hot, it's not cold. It's just perfect. No rain, blue skies. Italy in the spring is just spectacular further up the road. Oh no, I should take the right turn here. It's not that easy to navigate through all those little alleys and streets. It's like a maze here. Always look for those little enotecas. Here you can get a drink for a very fair price. 
and sometimes even have it right outside, a glass of wine. And Oteca in Italy is where you get your glass of wine without paying too much money. From the alleys, can you see it, guys? Yes, the amazing Duomo Firenze. As you go through the streets, you see parts of it, and it's just absolutely mind-blowing. Here, just by accident, there's a little hole in the wall where you can eat tripa. The tripa is a special dish from Tuscany made from a cow's intestines. And on the menu it says, today, tripa, carciofi, insalata. Puoi spiegarmi sul, sul posto? Di, di, di cos'è il lampedotto? Sì. Il lampedotto è il quarto stomaco della mucca, che viene fatta a pezzettini, sì. e condito sale, pepe, salsa verde e piccante. Ma la trippa è anche lo la stesso? La trippa è il primo e il secondo stomaco. Il lampedotto è il quarto. Ah, è una zuppa? No, la, il lampedotto è bagnato nel brodo, ma è un panino. So nice. Here you will eat the true Fiorentine dish, which is not tripa. I offended him. They serve tripa, but this other dish, which I can't even say the name again, lampredotto, lampredotto, lampredotto. This is the special dish made only here in Florence. And in this little hole in the wall, you can eat it. Pretty cool. You know, tripa, you can really, like like the guy said, you can really eat it all over Italy. But it's not for the weak of heart. Even me, who eats meat, I, I, don't, take the, I don't eat tripa because it's the cow's tummy and intestines. And I mean, you need to be a little bit courageous to eat it. Oh, wow, look at this graffiti. So it's Leah from Star Wars. She wears a Superman gown. And she also has a peace dough with a heart. Amazing, this is one of my favorites. It's a shop um, for pressings, for papers. There's an ancient, ancient, ancient book over here. This is just beautiful. Wow, some pens. Okay, where is our delicatessen shop? I think it is here. Peña Drogueria from the year 1860. Just look at this building, guys. It's a very, very ancient building. You can tell by the arcs. So here at the beginning, you have some soaps, some perfumes, some high, high quality toothbrushes, creams, shampoos, tampons. But this is not what we came here for. All due respect. We came here for other things. Coffee. Here you will find delicious coffee from Florence. And coffee made by Peña, by the shop itself. You have the famous Bachi. And then you have. Wow, so many options for chocolates and sweets. Look at this. Wow. Okay, moving on. Some more sweets. Here you will find many, many kinds of sweets. Coffee. Smell. Smell like coffee. So you have Cafe Superior, Superior Coffee, um, Chico Doro Coffee. So for you coffee lovers, it's just amazing options here. Sweets made from fruits, spices, herbs, liquors. Wow, what a cool shop. If you love food, this is definitely the place for you. And just look at the tubes of the coffee, how they come from above, right up here. And here you have some artisan chips. Wow, 
What is this even made of? Crocanti. Traditional. Di Lamporecchio. What the hell is Lamporecchio? I have no idea. I'll put subtitles below. What is Lamporecchio? Here we have biscotti di cioccolato. And the traditional biscotto. On the other side here you have rice, you have flour, biological flour to make the best dough you can dream of. It's like a high quality supermarket because it does have like cleaning stuff and soaps and napkins, but then it has like high high quality products too. I love this traditional crackers from Puglia. Uh, they are called uh, taralli and uh, you get them from all shapes and colors. So this is pizza flavored and uh, this is uh, uh, like a uh, full cereal. This is with uh, corkum and ginger. Dog food, cat food, crackers, crackers, sweets, sweets, more sweets without high quality biscuits. High quality chocolates, gluten free cookies, and of course, wine. Wow, so much wine. Traditional Pasqua Easter sweets, and of course, the pasta section where you can get the best pasta. This is one of the, this is one of my favorite pastas, guys. I'm definitely gonna buy some. Just look at the quality of these bucatini. Dream, a dream come true. But there are other pastas here as well, the, the best kinds you can dream of. Some of those brands you will not find in the supermarket. You can tell immediately. First of all, the pastas from Gragnano are the best pastas you can get in Italy, obviously. But you can see with your eyes the quality of those amazing pastas. This is our handmade fusilis. Look at this huge size of fusilli. I want to cry when I see that. I just want to cry. Look at this. Look at it. Amazing. Okay, how do we choose? You have spaghetti and spaghettoni. The spaghettoni are thicker. And they're better for sauces like carbonara. And then you have the spaghettoni quadrati, which are even thicker. To me, those are the best ones to get. The cost, by the way, is not that bad. I mean, it's 3 and 30 euros. It's a fair price. So I'm gonna get a couple. Whoop. Okay, now I'm ready to rock. Definitely taking those three pastas with me. Oh my god, I can't breathe, wow, 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 the salsas, the dried mushrooms, the patés, the carchofis, it's endless. Wow, the olive oils, the mustard, I gotta hold myself to not buy the whole shop. It's endless, the spices, the, the salsas. Of course they have the truffle salsas. So you have all the truffle you can dream of. So they have white truffle sauce and black truffle sauce and truffle oils and truffle butter and truffle, truffle, truffle everywhere. And here on the fridge you can get fresh pastas and great prosciuttos and even a cake wow some cheeses not easy guys it is not easy at all here of course the prosciuttos and all the sausages and cheeses and here 
can even buy fresh prosciuttos and fettuccine. Sì, grazie. Sto guardando, non è niente di più. Salsas, carciofis. Wow, look at those trotellis with ricotta and spinach. And the arancinis, the fish, and the cheese. And here on the back, the fresh prosciutto. And the cheeses. Look at those cheeses over there. Oh man. Madonna. Tea from all shapes and forms. Wow. Some liquors, honey, another sweets, chocolates, more chocolates. Wow, mind blowing. I gotta get something from here, but how do you choose? There's something I saw which I liked a lot military chocolate. comes in this tube. I've never seen anything like it. And here, a chocolate bar. Look at this. I'm definitely gonna get one of those. Those, those cookies seem delicious. From Siena. Okay. Definitely take inside those. Potresti raccontarmi sul negozio? È uno fra i negozi più storici d'Italia, siamo diciamo i primi cinque. Prima 50 anni fa faceva, vendeva prodotti chimici per la farmacia, addirittura veniva qui la gente a prendere la roba per fare le bombe. Poi no. è diventato un... E poi dopo alla fine la farmacia è venuta via ed è diventato un negozio di alimentari, drogheria e tutto. The building, just look at it. Look at those pillars. Look at those portas and look at the signs, it says chemical products, Peña. Wow, so much history. Look at the beautiful Campari bubbles. So many clamps out of those. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Time for me to go. You'll see. 21 euros. Look at this ancient door. Look at this. The details. Pretty amazing. What a shop, huh guys? I hope you liked it as much as I did. Now, Let's go and see the temple. The Duomo of Florence, also known as the Cathedrala di Santa Maria del Fiore. This amazing structure was built in the year 1200. Can you imagine? How did they do that? How? Just how did they build this spectacular, spectacular piece of arch architecture is beyond me. But it is glorious. Okay guys, this was a little stroll in Florence. And uh, if it's not obvious, if you haven't been to Florence, it is a must and preferably more than two days. You should definitely come here for three or four days to really get to breathe in the city and, and you know, really explore it because it has many secrets yet to be discovered. From the heart of Florence, see you on the next video.